Hi, this is uh, my attempt at a free energy device. It's um, basically just a 44 gallon drum or 200 litre drum. And it's got one tap on the side. And as you can see here of where my mark is, this is where my diaphragm sits on the inside. And it's bolted in, it's got about 20 bolts and um, silicon in and it's just linked to the bottom of the drum on the underside of the diaphragm and it separates it from the top of the diaphragm and that connects the underside of the diaphragm to the top of the diaphragm when you equalize it you open the tap and the whole volume of water becomes equalised. When you turn it off, once the float at underneath the diaphragm floats up and lifts the diaphragm up, then the diaphragm becomes full of water, or the underside of the diaphragm becomes full of water like that. And then you make it turn it off make it unequal and hopefully that the water now underneath the diaphragm on the drum can't hold up the weight of the water on top of the diaphragm and it pushes it down forcing it back into the top of the drum hopefully that's what happens I've already proven that the underside of the diaphragm will fill up with this prototype over here I didn't quite have a great enough volume on top of the diaphragm. It was, see the holes where it was bolted in, the diaphragm was not much less than half of the volume of the bucket. So when the bucket was full, basically it was equal top and bottom. So I didn't really have a greater force above it. But I did prove that the diaphragm would float up with the float underneath it and fill up with water. Righty, eh? well we'll see if it actually works uh, once the glue dries over seven days and the silicon glue will be dry and I'll fill it up with water and see what happens.